Hi, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can apply a coincidence constraint uh, for the uh, not the second uh, component that I'm going to insert. So I'm going to insert existing insert the existing component, click on the product and insert your next component. So my next component is not, I'll double click on it. So you cannot see the component, uh, you can see barely. So you need to go to the edit, move, manipulate and uh, select the z-axis and just uh, move the uh, nut so you need to click OK and uh, here you're going to apply coincidence constraints so that this component and this component shares the same axis so I'll go to insert I'll uh, select the coincidence constraint I'll move my cursor and my cursor changes to a uh, finger a hand uh, pointing a finger I need to click once and I need to move my cursor up so that I can sh I can you know navigate to the next axis of the knot so the constraint has been created over here as you can see the constraint uh, you know is being shown as it's, it's created so this is about uh, you know uh, giving the coincidence constraint uh, to the object so Keep watching my videos. Uh, I'm going to show you the complete uh, assembly uh, design, assembly of uh, complete screw jack in this series of uh, videos, and uh, you're going to end up with a complete uh, screw jack design. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you followed. And uh, any comments, any any uh, doubts, you can uh, post just below my comments, and I'm going to get back to you. Thank you.